How do headphone amps differ from speaker amps? Great question from Jakub in Gdynia, Poland. Paul, first of all, thanks for all your videos. It is my sincere pleasure, sir. It's, it's not only about the audio equipment. You are always able to change my mood or to cheer me up. <laughs> well, what a kind thing to say. Thank you so much. I, I'm glad I can do something. Uh, I have a question regarding headphone amps. How do they differ from speaker amps? Well, you know, fundamentally they don't, except in terms of impedances and, and power. And I'll try and explain the, the differences and what that all kind of means to you. So here, here is a, oh, this happens to be a power plant, but a power plant AC regenerator is nothing more than a power amplifier. And you can see this big old beast and this sucker, there's the fans and here's the stuff. And all these <coughs> transistors uh, along the side, sorry, Ohm's Law listeners, but we're, we're just looking at, it, at an amplifier and all the stuff in it. So speaker amplifiers have to drive very low impedances relative to headphone amplifiers. Most headphones are, oh, they're 20, 30 ohms, 50 ohms, 100 ohms, and they take very little power relative to a speaker uh, amplifier that is very low impedance that goes from, say, 8 to 4 ohms, maybe down as low as 1 to 2 ohms. Very, very low impedance, which means that in order to develop a voltage across the, the load, the load is the, the speaker or the headphone itself, we have to drive a lot of current to, in order to develop a voltage. And the voltage, of course, is what makes the, the diaphragm of the speaker or, the, or in the headphones move back and forth. So the lower the impedance, the closer it is to ground, to a, you know, a short circuit to ground, and so the more current it takes. And if we remember, and I've, I've said this in several of these videos or these audio podcasts, that wattage is amps times volts equals watts. So it takes, current is amps. And so the lower the impedance, the more amperage, the more current it takes to develop a voltage, hence the greater number of watts. What this allows us to do, though, in a headphone amplifier, some really cool stuff, because we don't need so many watts in a headphone amplifier, and we can do some pretty interesting things. Like, for example, we could use some semiconductors or tubes that we wouldn't normally use inside of a power amplifier for speakers. For example, JFETs. JFETs are, are, are wonderful voltage amplification devices, but we don't typically use them except at the very input to a power amplifier because they don't handle typically a lot of voltage and they don't handle much current. But I've seen a couple of designs for headphone amplifiers where you can use JFETs, junction uh, field effect transistors, at both the input and for a gain stage because the rails, the, the voltage rails are quite a bit lower in a headphone amplifier. So it, it, it just gives you some better topologies that you might be able to take advantage of that you wouldn't necessarily get when you need a lot of voltage and a lot of current for a speaker amplifier. But essentially, they are nearly identical. One of the things that I would caution you about, and it's, it's, not, it's not an overly cautious thing, but just to be aware of, because of the nature of a headphone amplifier, as I've described, low voltage, low current, not a lot of output um, uh, demands you know, for low impedance, a lot of companies use chips, just a straight chip. There, there's tons of headphone amplifier chips out there, and some of them are pretty good, but some of them are not so great. And the discrete headphone amplifiers are usually better sounding than chip amplifiers and you know the tendency of a, an engineer is to depending on what they want to gain or, or what they want to get out of this they might just take an easy short step 
put into it a chip that sounds okay, hook a power supply up to it, and call it good. So check inside, make sure you have a discrete design that somebody who knows what they're doing in terms of listening has designed the headphone amplifier for you in the same way that you'd do the same thing for a speaker design. Hope that helps a little bit. Thanks. Bye. Thank you.